So now in this video we're going to make another comparator circuit with an op amp. Again we're going to use a single supply op amp, the LM358. There's two of them within the integrated circuits. We just need one of them right there. So it's a single supply op amp which means that we can just use a direct uh, supply right there. 5 volts and the uh, negative side is considered ground 0 volts. Dual supply means that in relationship to ground there's a negative voltage and uh, so you would not want to use a dual supply op amp for this particular circuit. Now what uh, we did, last video we did a comparator, non-inverting comparator. Plus was down there, minus was up there. And uh, all I did was swap those two. That's all I had to do to change the uh, circuit. And so now the uh, non-inverting, the plus, is to our fixed voltage. That's the one that uh, we're going to change the voltage in relationship to. The inverting input is to the trim pot where we can change the voltage. And so our signal in right here, if uh, we go above two third, uh, above half of the supply voltage I mean, then it'll be a higher voltage right there. The output will be low. Basically it'll connect to ground. I have a blue LED to light up to let us know when we have a low output. I like blue for low and then red for high. If we go below half of the supply voltage, so 2.5 volts, then the output's going to go high. It doesn't connect to 5 volts near as well as uh, 0 volts, but in any case, it does get close enough to 5 volts. The red LED will light up. The other end is to ground right there. So high input, low output. And then uh, low input, we have a high output. So here's the uh, kit that I got my LM358 from and the integrated circuits in here, they show the pin layout. So we have to power it, pin number 8 up there is VCC, pin 4 is ground, and you can see that on the uh, board. So now I uh, swapped where the uh, trim pod is, uh, I had to change which pin it goes to of course, but it was over to the board on the left. For those of you with just a single board, you can just wire it like this, and uh, so it's got three little wires at the bottom the middle one is the wiper and then the two end ones are the ones that go into the power supply and it's resting on top of those three jumpers right there but in any case that's going to second pin up since we want an inverted output from the uh, signal we're given with the trim pot that is the inverting input right below it's the non-inverting input where we have our fixed resistors and the output is the uh, top pin so you can see the Resistors here going to pin three down there and uh, one spot below and right here we have a couple resistors So I'm going to use 220 ohms for the red LED because this doesn't output 5 volts as well as 0 volts plus LEDs Need more current to get brighter. So it's a lower value resistor. That's the long lead short lead the blue LED 1 kilo ohm Because uh, it has more voltage to work with but also blue LEDs just get a lot brighter so about four times the resistance it's going to equal out pretty closely to what uh, the red LED is. So short lead there, long lead the anode up to the positive supply. And uh, really quickly, before we move on, we will just do a quick uh, look at, uh, right now it's low, we're towards the uh, negative jumper there, and now we're high, we're towards the positive. And you can see that the blue LED is lit up. So now LEDs give a nice visual of when it is higher and lower. They may look brighter now, that's because I turn the uh, light, the lamp down a little bit and uh, the camera adjusts for that. But in any case, that gives a nice visual, but it's mostly voltages that are important. So we'll zoom back, there's five volts at the supply and you can also see the current. So again, the blue LED is brighter at lower current than the red LED. So that's one of the big reasons why I used a higher value resistor we got current limited 20 milliamps, 0 0.02 amps, just in case I short circuit something, it won't blow out an LED or something. But in any case, we're going to uh, put the uh, alligator clip from the oscilloscope there, clip to a jumper, and the voltage we're going to look at is in relationship to ground. Zero volts, the negative rail, we can go to the supply first, and you'll see right there five, goes up five squares, each uh, square is one volt. Now we'll go to the uh, fixed resistors right there and you can see it is half of that supply voltage so 2.5 right there now we will uh, look at the signal so I gotta go up one to the inverting input so it is high right now well the output is low so it's 
going to fall a little short of ground, zero volts, because the LED. And if I remove the blue LED, it does go all the way to ground. That makes it a single supply op amp right there. So hopefully you can see that. But in any case, we had uh, that example. We can look at the uh, voltage of the trim pot now. So it's high. We got a low output. We saw that. We will go low with it. And uh, let's go up one volt, whatever, anywhere below uh, two and a half volts right there. The red LED is lit. The output is high. We can go to the output. And again, it's not two five volts. And that's not as much the LED's fault. You'll see I removed the LED. It goes up a bump, but it's still below four volts. So a single supply op amp just doesn't ever output the full uh, positive side of the supply voltage, the full VCC. But in any case, usually it's close enough for many uh, circuits where it's not a problem. Otherwise, you got to find a different op amp to work with if you need to go rail to rail. But uh, that's it for this video. So hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other ones that I'm posting into the screen. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. But just watching the videos helps out a ton. So I really appreciate that. I'll see you in the next video.